just a little bit of a mixture of Pilates and yoga of back releases on the floor. So you just need to find a spot on the floor, anywhere, a little bit of room around you, not too much, tiny space, perfect. Okay, so um, we're going to start lying down and just do a bit of a back release. Okay, so I'm going to lie down, facing up. So join me. Oh, I could just feel my back releasing then. I could feel a few cracks coming down. And if you're on a flat floor, you might feel that as well if you've been up most of the day. Just relax the back down. Hands are down here at the side and feet are here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go up into what we call a bridge, but I'm going to do it through the spine, okay? So what I'm going to do is while I'm lying here, it's a little, a little natural curve in my lower spine. I'm going to try to keep that there. And then I'm going to press that into the floor. So I'm imprinting my lower spine onto the mat. And then as I'm doing it, I'm sucking in my tummy here. I'm going to lift, I'm going to engage the muscles in my legs. And I'm going to squeeze and lift up my hips. But one at a time, really trying to focus on doing it. So the last bit coming up is the upper spine here. Okay, so just doing a little mobility through the spine. I'm holding it here for just a few seconds. Not for long, okay? And then we're going to come down. But we're going to come down with the upper spine coming, rolling down first. So we're rolling through the spine, rolling, sucking in, sucking in my tummy here to try to get that roll through the spine. I'm trying to think about it. So my, my lower spine is the last thing. I'm imprinting now. And then I'm going to tilt my pelvis just a wee bit to get that little bit of arch in my natural arch in my lower spine. Okay. I'm just going to lie here for a second. So, as you're doing this, try to look straight up, okay, if you can. Okay, so relaxing the arms and the shoulders down to the floor. Here we go. So, tilting the pelvis here, tilting it a little bit, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs here, and just rolling one at a time, and articulating, that's a big word, through the spine one at a time. Yep, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the thighs, as I'm rolling that spine up into bridge position. Bridge, pushing the chest up, so that's yogury. We're opening the chest and then we're going to roll back down again. So from the upper spine, rolling down one at a time, one at a time. Really feeling the spine pushing into the floor as you roll. Really good for mobility, imprinting, and little curve. Okay, good. Now, we're just going to have a little release of the legs here. Just release the legs. You can pull one leg and pull the other one in. Have a little roll around on the spine. Okay. Good. So, how are you going? You could do one more of those. I think they're really nice to do. Not, not um, energetic or anything, but just really, really good to get a bit of mobility in the spine. Okay, do that again. Looking straight up. Hands down at your side. Feet fairly close in. Shoulder width apart. Here we go. Tucking, really tummy squeezes, yeah? So legs here, tuck, turning the pelvis up, tilting it, and then rolling up. I don't have any good problems with the words at the moment. So one at a time, coming up. Okay, one at a time, one at a time. Halfway there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Up we go. Squeeze the glutes, holding there at the top. Nice deep breath, and then coming back down from the top first, so the top, really focusing on that first upper spine, going down first into the mat, and then coming through the bottom, rolling, imprinting, and relaxing. Okay, good work. That's a nice one. I like that. Okay, so shake it out. Big stretch, so we're stretching now, big stretch through the body, fingers and toes, okay, so stretching the fingers, pointing the toes, making yourself two inches taller, if you can, it'd be great, wouldn't it? And then just relax it, just go, whew, relax, okay, so do that again, stretch out everything, stretching, 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 stretching out through the tummy, stretching out through the back, and then just relax. <sighs> okay, kind of six lots of stretches in there. Okay, so we're going to come up. So however you like to get up, I'll just I'll just roll over today. Roll over, coming up. 
Okay, not really coming up, sort of going over. So I just want to be able to talk to you for a second. So you can just roll over. I just wanted to get here. <laughs> I'm going to go, I think I'm going back in this way. All right, so what are we doing? We're going to do, I've got a bit of a cheat night there today. Okay, okay, yeah, good. So we're going to do a couple of um, yoga stretches. So hands at the side here. And feet are down on the floor. So just keep them down. Feet along the floor. Hands at the side here. And then just, I like to think, this is a bit of a Pilates thing, but the ice cube under the belly button. So you're tucking in your tummy, okay? And then we're just going to roll up, pushing through the hands and just doing a little cobra stretch. So you just have to go to about there. You don't have to go any further. We just go wherever suits you. If you start to feel it in your lower back, any pain, just stop. But otherwise, just push it up there. And um, yeah, this is a really nice one. I'm, I'm not looking at you at the moment because we're really supposed to have our eye gaze forward. Don't turn your head around. And then just come back down. So just a little cobra. All right. We're going to do that again. Ice cube under the belly button. Okay, nose is grazing the mat here. Okay. So we at core switched on, we push with the hands, just a little bit with the hands. Okay, we try not to use the hands too much. So we're using a bit of back, the lower back strength to lift ourselves up. But to stretch more, we push up. With the elbows, pushing on the elbows. My hands are nice and wide here. Bring it wide. And we try not to sink into the shoulders. We push up out of them and then roll back down. So that's Cobra. Hopefully you've done that one with me. We're going to do the next one. Okay, so we're just going to come back after doing Cobra. Actually, we'll do Cobra three times. Why not? Three times. <laughs> Ice cube, nose grazing the mat, pushing up. Here we go, pushing up and make sure your neck is not here. Push it away from the shoulders. But we're looking, eye gaze is about, mm, in this position about half a metre ahead to keep my spine in a bit of alignment here. We don't want to be up too high or too low. And then we're coming back down. Okay, so come to child's pose. Just push back. Legs forward. You can have legs however you like here. You can have them wide or wherever. Just come back to child's pose. Have a little stretch. So just stretching our back. But also stretching through the glutes a little bit. Um, and also through the thighs, just relax down into it. That's a bit hard, just come here. Okay, resting the head on the head. So we won't stay here for long. Just getting a bit of stretching and a bit of mobility through the back. This is a nice stretch for the back. If we want to add on a little bit with this one, I'll just show you. Um, you can just have one hand comes across in front of the other hand and we'll do a little stretch down the lats at the side. So just try that if you like. Just do it for a we won't stay here for long because I know a lot of people don't actually like being in this position for too long. And then we'll come back up to centre. This hand comes out, this one comes across in front of it and we're really feeling, you should feel that stretch down the side there. Do it. It's cat cows, a yogury one, yoga, <laughs> but 
Um, we're going to do it in a Pilates way to get the mobility. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust my things here. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Okay, so we're going to try to do it with mobility in our back. So in yoga, we tend to go, oh, cat, and then we go cow. Okay, but what we're going to do in Pilates is we're going to work through each of the spine so that the head is the last thing. To, to come down. So from this position, I'm going to do cat. So I'm going to lift, tilt my pelvis and lift it up, suck my belly in. So I'm arching my spine up towards the ceiling. Okay, one at a time. I went a bit fast then, but anyway, one at a time until the head's the last thing down. So I'm doing cat. Okay, now I'm going to go into cow. So but I'm going to go through the lower spine first. So one at a time. Lower spine. See if you can focus on just doing one, you're tilting the pelvis and it's coming down one at a time, coming back now through where my shoulders are and then I'm going to lift, my head is the last thing to come up, getting that mobility. Alright, so we're here in cow, now we're going to go through from the lower spine again, so go to tilt the pelvis one at a time, tilt, tilt, tilt. Coming up, I'm going to go into cat now. The last thing coming down is my head. So my head is down. So hopefully yours is the same. Okay, so let's go again. All right from lower spine, tilting, going to make it a scoop now. Yeah, like the cow. One at a time, one at a time, articulate it, each one until head's the last thing up. Okay, you're doing really well. Let's go one more. Okay, from the lower spine. Tilting. Tilting. <laughs> Bit of thought involved doing this one. And then arching like a cat. Last one. Tilting, tilting, tilting. Till we go to cow. Arching. Away. Good, head comes up, and then we just go back to neutral and sit back on your heels and do a little child's pose. How was that? Hopefully that was good. Get that mobility. Okay, have a little stretch here with your head down if you like, or here if that's easier for you. I quite like that one. I can be in this position for a little while and it feels okay. Okay. And yeah, the last one I was going to do was a child's pose, so we're here already. <laughs> so, um, just stay here for a second, and then we're going to come up, rolling up, rolling up. We do one more child's pose, but I'll just show you a little bit of a different one, if you want a little bit of variation. It's always nice to have a few different ideas. And this one is called Down Face Warrior. And you just have the knees, put your knees towards the side of the mat and your big toes are together. Okay, big toes are together. Just be careful if you've got a hard floor like that. Make sure you've got something soft underneath you. And then we're going to sit back. So it's just, let knees are out wider than normal. And if you come back here, you can have hands here. I like that one. If you want, you can get a pillow or something. Put a pillow underneath, a couple of pillows. Rest your head on it. I find that's quite comfy for me. You can sort of shift around a little bit. Good for the back, stretching out the back. Good for the hips. I think good for the brain. Just take a deep breath. And relax, deep breath out. Maybe you can be here if you like. shoulders because I don't know I hold a lot of tension in 
my shoulders being rolls. And back, roll forward. And another more, another one. <laughs> one more, <laughs> another one. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Upper back stretch, hands come to the front, pushing forward, pushing forward. Sort of scooping the back. Doesn't matter where you go. You can be up here if you like, you can lean forward, just whatever works for you. Really push those arms forward. And then we're just going to do a counter stretch because we should. Fingers here, push them to the floor. Lifting up. And then just get your shoulders, bring them forward, bring them back. So counter stretch is a chest stretch. Do all the back ones we did. joining me and I hope you like that and um, some of my favorite ones to do on the floor and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.